Hi everyone, it's Graham here from Weave. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send funds from your cryptocurrency exchange like Binance or Coinbase to your MetaMask wallet. So I want to use my MetaMask wallet to fund some DeFi projects like Weave, and I'll need to fill it with funds first. One thing to note here, when making transactions on a blockchain using your MetaMask or another Web3 based wallet, you have to pay network fees to process the transactions. Each blockchain has their own cryptocurrency that is used to process transaction fees, and those fees can change based on the congestion on that network. If I were using the Ethereum blockchain, I'd pay my fees in Ethereum. If I was using Polygon, I would use Matic. But since I'm using the Binance Smart Chain, fees are paid in BNB, which is the native token for Binance. So for this demo, I'll show you how to send over funds in BNB and BUSD over to my MetaMask wallet. I'll be using the Binance exchange to fund my wallet. It is one of the largest cryptocurrency exchanges in the world and has support for most cryptocurrency tokens. Since Weave uses the Binance Smart Chain, this specific exchange will make depositing BNB and BUSD into my MetaMask very easy. You can use your Coinbase or other cryptocurrency exchanges to fund your MetaMask. The withdrawal process will be very similar between them all, just slightly different user interfaces and different supported networks. If you have not set up an exchange account, you will need to do this in advance. It is a fairly easy process of creating an account and going through a KYC process. KYC means know your customer. It's a common practice used by most exchanges for compliance and anti-money laundering screening. You will need to confirm your identity by providing a proof of residency, using a utility bill or a driver's license. The account creation process will walk you through those necessary steps. Each country has different regulatory requirements, and not all exchanges work everywhere. Binance and Coinbase will likely be available in your region, and you'll be able to convert real-world government-issued currencies like pounds, euros, or dollars, uh, known as fiat currencies, into cryptocurrencies. But do make sure your country is supported before starting with these platforms. Okay, so I have my Binance Exchange account set up with some BNB and BUS in it. I'll hover over wallet and tap on Fiat and Spot to access my account holdings. You can see I have some BUSD and BNB here. If you don't have these currencies, you can buy them with Fiat or exchange whatever cryptocurrency you are using in the trade section. We'll start with BNB. I'll tap on withdraw. The BNB coin is selected. I will withdraw to a new address. Here I need to enter the address for my MetaMask wallet. So I'll open up MetaMask. Make sure you are on the Binance Smart Chain, which I am. And I'll tap the account name and copy my wallet address. With that copied, I'll go back to Binance and paste in my address. I'll confirm the network is using the Binance Smart Chain, BEP20. It's very important that you are withdrawing your tokens on the same blockchain as your receiving wallet. The Binance Smart Chain is the network that I want to receive my tokens on in MetaMask, so this is all correct. You'll see a small fee here of 0.0005 BNB, which is equivalent to about 29 cents right now. I'll double confirm that the network I'm using is the Binance Smart Chain. Tap yes, I am sure here. You may see an indication that the network is congested. It just means it may take a bit longer to process your transaction. Luckily, I'm not seeing this right now. Enter an amount. I'll move 0.05 BNB from my wallet. That should be more than enough to cover all the transaction fees that I might have to deal with. The Binance Smart Chain transaction fees are relatively low. You'll see that the network fee for this is 0.0005 BNB, like I mentioned. So I'll actually add another little bit so I can receive a nice round number in MetaMask. Tap withdraw, and you'll have to confirm all those details again. Once you submit that, if you've set up any two-factor authentication controls on your account, you'll need to enter those codes to make sure it's really you who wants to perform this withdrawal action. It's one of the exchange's security protocols. Once done, you'll see this awaiting approval screen. Tap complete. Scroll down a bit to see the status of your withdrawal. It can take a little bit of time here, although these details show that it should be fairly quick to process. Okay, my withdrawal has been completed. If I open MetaMask, you'll see the balance of BNB increased to 0.05. And I'll now do that exact same process to move my BUSD over to my MetaMask. 
On the fiat and spot page, search for BUSD, tap withdraw, confirm the correct token is selected, and we'll want to enter our MetaMask address here again. So open MetaMask. Something I wanna call out here is that all of the tokens in your asset list use the same wallet address on the selected network. So your wallet address for BNB and BUSD on the Binance Smart Chain is the same address. I'll copy the address, paste it into the address field, select the Binance Smart Chain network. Again, it's very important that the address you are withdrawing to is on the same blockchain. Select yes, I'm sure. Now I'll select an amount here. I'll choose 150 BUSD. It looks like there are no fees for this transfer, so that's good to see. Sometimes Binance does this for some other coins. Confirm the details and tap withdraw. Again, tap to confirm you understand that you are using the Binance Smart Chain Network. I'll enter my two-factor codes again to ensure it's me who wants to make this transaction. That's done. I'll tap complete while the approval is being reviewed. It says it can take up to 12 hours, but in my experience, it's never more than a few minutes. You see it here, the 150 BUSD is being processed. It will need 15 confirmations on the blockchain to fully be processed. I'll pop over to MetaMask. I don't see the BUSD yet, so I'll pause the video and come back when the BUSD hits my MetaMask wallet. Okay, this is now finished and I now have 150 BUSD in my MetaMask wallet. Now, there is a chance that the transaction failed for you if the network was too busy. If that happened to you, it's okay. Just wait a few minutes and go through the same withdrawal steps again, as the network may have been too busy to process all the requests. So I now have both BNB and BUSD in my MetaMask wallet, ready to be used for my next DeFi project. Check the description below for links to other helpful videos and resources from the team here at Weave. And be sure to take a peek at the Weave platform where you can easily copy experienced yield farmers and earn staking rewards in cryptocurrencies. Thanks for watching and bye for now.